Thank you for joining me today. My name is Lee Reams with County Works Pro. In today's quick hit, I'm talking about branded versus non-branded search terms. So what does that mean and why is that important to you? So uh, you're going to have two different user experiences when people are uh, searching. So there is their intent where they don't know who you are and they're searching with non-branded search terms, meaning like city, tax preparation, or uh, Newport Beach, CPA, something like that, right? So that is a non-branded search term. So when someone comes to your website, you're going to want them to have a little bit of a different experience. Uh, one, you have to make sure you're ranking for those terms. But two, if they actually do click on your link, you know, what kind of message are you sending them? How are you speaking to them? The obvious one is branded search, which if someone is looking specifically for you or your firm, it's important uh, to also take an effect. If, is this a referral? Um, are they new to us? And that way they're just, they were referred and they're searching my name. You're going to want to show a lot of uh, five-star reviews, right? So that's going to start the conversation out well. If it's a client, you want to get them to the information that they're looking for quickly. How to get to my office. What is my phone number? Things like that. So here's a real quick uh, look at what a search result looks like. This is a... McDonough, Georgia CPA. Uh, our client, Karen Drescher, her website is ranked number one on those organic uh, search terms. Um, you know, right away, what are the keywords? Uh, we have the city, state, um, Georgia, so a lot of elements that are within here. You'll notice that they're bold within the uh, search results, right? So, in any non branded terms, you want to make sure A, you're using them in your meta titles and meta descriptions, also within the body copy of the page that they're landing on. Uh, you want to make sure that that content that is on that page is related to the search terms. So you're not going to try to trick people. So if someone is looking for a CPA, you want to have them land on either your homepage or perhaps a uh, CPA-related content page. Uh, you don't want it to be then you know trying to sell a different product, right? So that's what a non-branded term uh, looks like. Here is a branded term. So I'm going to look for Karen Dresser CPA. Uh, you want your website to rank number one. Here, what's great? She has her tax buzz, Facebook. Uh, counting works uh, here on the, on the left, uh, all with five-star reviews, um, Google reviews, and also on the Google My Business listing, you'll also see that reviews are syndicated here. So again, if it was a referral, this is a great way to welcome a new client. Kind of, they'll, they'll feel pretty good about it, and if they do click in, um, you know, they're, they're going to feel a little more comfortable about talking to you. So the next thing is, uh, if it is a non-branded search term, you know, what is the goal of your website? So having landing pages that can connect people, you know, having your phone number, having simple forms on your website to uh, really make it easy for people to contact you, uh, try to use uh, terminology that speaks directly to them. Um, so you want it to be a little different experience than if someone was searching your name, you want it to be a little more friendly, uh, you want to have your bio, you want to have your picture, uh, do you have any credentials, this person's a verified so they have a background screening on them. This is going to make people feel much more comfortable uh, striking up a conversation with you. So I, I hope these, uh, the differences here uh, kind of make sense. They're important as far as when you build your website, you want to make sure you have content that talks to both parties. You want them to have different experiences, and you want all of that content to help take the conversation forward, uh, whether it is a current client or a new client. Uh, if you have any questions that are need assistance in optimizing your own site, you can always contact us at accountingworkspro.com. Um, and we look forward to hearing from you on social or, or through the uh, website. Thank you.